guys I need your help I go on holiday in four days and I do not have one single outfit put together so we're gonna do a styling session you're gonna help me and we're gonna find some outfits for Monaco <laughs> First things first, I need to look in my wardrobe, find out what I already have that I can take that will form a good foundation for my outfits. But before I show you in my wardrobe, you've got to promise me you're not going to judge. You're not going to think differently because when I say I'm about to expose myself, I am embarrassed but we can sort this out together. The thing is, I went to the F1 on Friday and I pulled out the entire wardrobe to find a last minute outfit and it caused a mess. It caused a big fat mess. So just, just, just don't say anything. <laughs> Stop. Oh, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> Scattered. Look at this, the hangers like up crooked, that makes me feel sick. It honestly is disgusting. So we're gonna sort this out together. We're gonna find out what I already have. I know all of these are like my bodysuits and crop tops, bandos, and they are a huge part of my holiday wardrobe. So I just need to discover what I've got of these and then we can go from there. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home you so I have pulled all of the bits that I'd want to wear for my main wardrobe here I now need to go to the garage and get my second set of holiday outfits you know those bags where you squeeze the air out of them or hoover the air out of them and they reduce in space and just go all crinkly and small I've got loads of bags in the garage so I need to go into there figure out what I've got of those bags then we can look at the new stuff and then we can start styling and welcome to my garage you can't really see me very well because I've got all of that light coming on here I'll pop on the light see if that helps probably not welcome this is my garage and it's an absolute tip it's really dirty really gross really messy yeah we've got a sofa we've got some bathroom cabinets what about a barbecue what about a tv cabinet oh i spy some k aces oh i spy some boo-oo-oos i have a couple of bags in here that we need to go through so i've got this one this one and then i've also got some shoes oh that was a workout and a half my breath's gone just bringing those bags upstairs how unfit am i i don't understand it i go to the gym like five times a week i honestly just don't understand it anyway i mean that's really funny i say i go to the gym five times a week i've done that for the past three weeks ah <laughs> i did not go to the gym five times a week oh yeah imagine i'd be ripped Anyway, let's talk strategy for this holiday whilst I look through these. So I'm going to Monaco, staying in Monte Carlo, and then we're going to Nice for a day. Whew, so excited, so incredibly excited. When I think of Monaco, I think of stunning scenes. I think of super yachts. I think of cash. I think bougie. I think glamour. I think bad. So. I'm thinking a lot of dramatic pieces. I want dresses, I want hats. You know me, I do love to keep it neutral, but I do also love pops of color. Lots of maxi dresses, maxi skirts, the big floppy hats. I'm gonna see if I have any of that. And then after I have just behind you, got a little brown box and little pink bags. And we know what that means. Zara and PLT, my lovely. Oh my gosh, yes, I was looking for this skirt. I'm obsessed with this skirt, so it's the most amazing, gorgeous maxi skirt. Look at this, satin, and it's got a beautiful knot detail. This will go so gorgeously with a little bandeau, a little crop top, just for walking around the town in the daytime. I think that's a really fabulous piece. Oh look, some shorts. I haven't even worn these. Like, look how ridiculous that is. I literally have I'm terrible. Oh my goodness, look how cute this is. This is definitely a contender. Oh, I can't bother to sort it out. It's basically a tie halter crop top. That is an absolutely, I absolutely love that. Oh, obsessed. Once, once again, I haven't even worn this. This is getting ridiculous. Does this not remind you of Monaco? Absolutely. Right, on to the next bag. Oh, I spy my hat. Love a hat on holiday. Love a hat. Oh, we're in. Right, once again, three, two, one. Woohoo! Goodies! <laughs> really? I've crushed my hat. Right. 
A fedora, honey. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to my yacht. Ah! Hello, darling. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Welcome. I live in the south of France. I'm just not going to say anything at this point. I'm truly mortified. How do I have so many clothes that I have not worn? That is stunning. I actually ordered a white maxi sock because I didn't think I had one. <laughs> Love. Okay, let me sort out this pile. I'm going to come back to you when I'm in a more organised state of mind. I'm going to pile it all up, see what I definitely want to take, see what I'm missing from the looks. I'm going to go through the itinerary, work out what I want to wear to what then what I need to add in from the new orders and then what I also need to order because I'm missing. And I know I'm missing a lot of accessories, that is for sure. Let's do it. Put on my rail because once we've chosen the outfits, I can then put them on the rail, visualize every single day, day and night. And I'm gonna have more of an idea of the variety of outfits. So this will really help in the decision making process. I've had to get myself a squash. Running around like a headless chicken. I'm really out of breath. I don't know what's going on. Absolutely ridiculous. Make you sit right here. Outfit number one, and I have gone for this. I did say that I really wanted to wear this skirt. I'm completely obsessed with it. I absolutely adore the knot center. And then we've got a centered split hem. I just popped it with a plain old simple creamy bandeau. This is more cream than white. Accessory wise, I think this croc envelope bag would go absolutely gorgeously. On the first day, we're just gonna get there, drop our bags, off and then have a little bit of a mooch around Monte Carlo, go to the casino, have a glass of wine at the Café de Paris. So I think this is very gorgeous, very chic. I do think a hat might work with this. Now let me know what hat you think. So this is the first hat, a fedora, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Look at how chic this outfit is. Ah! These are the shoes that I would wear with this outfit. Plain and simple little pom-pom sliders. Definitely no heels in the day. Potentially flip flops as well if my feet do hurt if my toes hurt i would move over to foam flip flops with this look but i absolutely love this very chic very gorgeous the alternative hat that i do have is this floppy hat right here i absolutely adore this as much as i do love the fedora i just think that this one is definitely a little bit more beachy in a bikini you are trying to keep the sun off of your face but this outfit is so simple yet such a stunning look on our first evening we're going to nobu very bougie very out there so I was thinking a really cute little girly dress like this. I grabbed this from Zara, really sweet, a little shirt dress. I really like the bottom of it as well, very girly. I'd pop this dress with a pair of white heels. I absolutely love the sleeves. They've got a cuff sleeve detail going on here. I just think that, mm, I'm not 100% sure, I'm not 100% confident in it. And when you're going to Nobu, when you're going bougie, when you're going to the same restaurants as the Kardashians, you've got to bring it and you've got to want to give it. You've got to have confidence levels, 100. Alternatively, for Nobu, I ordered this fabulous dress from PLT, a little zebra maxi moment, completely obsessed with this, but I'm having a few problems. First of all, this top half is so loose. I'll show you at the back. These straps here are just too big that my boobs don't feel comfortable, but this is so loose, yet this is so tight. I can't even walk properly. Does it look silly on camera? Does it look too small on my size on camera? Issue is, is that if I size up, this is a 10. If I go up to a 12, I think it's going to be too big here i mean i'm already gonna have to tie the straps but i might just have to order a 12 just to see because i'm thinking if i sit down oh i don't want the dress bursting at the seams do i that would just be so embarrassing but what i would pair this dress with my bag from earlier very simple black envelope bag i think this goes perfectly and then shoe wise amazing heels that i ordered from plt as well look at the heel detail completely obsessed a see-through block and then just a faux leather barely there strappy detail stop it i have too many clothes flying around this place so day number two guys we are going to nice for the day just gonna have a roam around nisa city is nisa town i'm gonna find this out let's not embarrass myself let's not assume located in the french riviera is also nicknamed nice la belle meaning nice the beautiful which is also the title of the unofficial anthem of nice written by rondelli yada 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 it's basically a city <gasps> okay we're off we're off to a new city that's my phone on the floor and i pulled together this outfit here now 
Thing is, we're going to be travelling from Monte Carlo to Nice. We're getting the train, it's only like a 20 minute train. But I'm thinking, if we're doing a lot of walking, then I want to be free, I want to be easy. Issue is, this split comes quite high, look, zoop, zoop. Wrong turn, wrong leg movement, and you can see all inside of the skirt. Anyway, this skirt is from PLT, a gorgeous orange moment. I thought contrasting by the sea, by the beach, would look absolutely beautiful. And then I just popped it with this kind of corset style bodysuit from Zara. Absolutely love this, really figure hugging. Feels gorgeous, looks gorgeous, obsessed. Fedora. Mm, very south of France. Shoe wise, I would honestly just pair this outfit with a pair of white foam flip flops. Really simple, really easy. I won't want to do a sandal or anything because we're walking from Monte Carlo to Nice. I don't want sore feet. There's nothing worse than having sore feet or blisters when you're doing a lot of walking. So, really simple, really easy. Bag and accessory wise, I would just pair it with this gorgeous little woven beach bag here. That way we can fit everything in because as I said, we're getting the train, we're going to be traveling a lot, so I need all the additionals, some crisps, some water, some wine we can put on for the beach. Ah, oh, stunning. My book definitely need to be reading on the beach. So actually, upon reflection, I think this could be quite a cute little niece outfit. It's just this slit might be too much. Alternatively, I was thinking trousers, light, airy trousers. The second outfit option for niece is this one here, which I think is a little bit more appropriate. I think this is giving me more beachy blue, really sweet, city, coastal French Riviera vibes. I absolutely adore this crop top that you saw earlier. This is from Zara, off the shoulder, ruffle blue crop top. And I paired it with these gorgeous scuba white trousers from PLT. I really like how it's got a little bit of detail around the waistline as well. The thing is, I do already have a pair of white trousers, but they're a little bit see-through. So I'm gonna try those on because I could save myself some money. But accessory wise with this, let me try the neutral fedora hat, why not? I love a hat. This outfit is definitely giving me Taurus, definitely giving me Dora the Explorer, yet chic at the same time. If we're doing Italian, we are doing red, white, and green. Here are my green trousers. I'm obsessed with these trousers. I got these for Dubai last year. Plain old, simple, please say trousers. But I just think they're so gorgeous, so elongated, so exaggerated, so luxury, so gorgeous. Absolutely love. And then I just paired them with this fabulous Zara bodysuit. I love this bodysuit because you can wear it two ways, either around the neck like a halter or to one side like that. Absolutely adore. On the Friday evening after Nice, we're going to be absolutely knackered. So we're just going to have a little relaxing evening. Go to an Italian for some wine, just really chill in the town, keep it low key. So I thought this outfit right here would be absolutely perfect for that. I could do a hat moment, but I think that's a little bit dramatic in the nighttime. Let's be realistic. On the third date, we're going to Nikki Beach. We're going to a beach party. So I grabbed this swimsuit from PLT, scuba material. Absolutely obsessed with this. Really like the monochrome detail with white accents. I really love the zip like that. You can have it all the way up or show a little bit more like that. Maybe not too much. We don't want to show too much. Let's do a little halfway. And then my favorite part of this has to be this shirt. Look how incredible this shirt is here. I'm gonna come a little bit nearer so you can see the texture. So we've got mini lines running and then a thicker line, a nice sheer material. And what I do is I just drape. That way I can be a little bit more modest when going to the bar. Spending all day at Nikki Beach, we know we're gonna be drunky monkeys. Shots are gonna be on the cards. You know what Helen and I are like. So we thought that we're gonna reserve somewhere anyway for dinner, but most likely we're gonna get room service. So I am gonna put an outfit together just for a chill kind of Italian. So we're doing two really nice things, Nobu, Nikki Beach, and the rest of the time we're just gonna save money and spend as little as possible. So for a kind of local Italian or French restaurant, I keep saying Italian because surprisingly, there are loads of Italians in Monaco rather than the traditional French restaurants, which is really strange because we're going to the south of France, but that is why I'm saying that. But I got this amazing bandeau dress from my kind of summer holiday bag collection. I absolutely love this. Really cheap, really simple, but it doesn't look cheap. Does that make sense? No way. Look at how sweet this is. So a very simple hot pink woven bag with little feathers coming off it. Ah! 
look at how fabulous this is so i'll just have this add a little bit of pop of color and then to be honest with you shoe wise i would just wear my sliders i'm just keeping it simple and i think that the two textures go together really nicely as well so i'm just looking at our itinerary for the last day and we're going to monaco old town in the morning go to the shops so you know the bougie are shop chanel dior gucci all of that take the bus the touristy bus that drops you off to every major attraction in the city and then for the afternoon we're going to this gorgeous kind of beach club restaurant so i put on this gorgeous little outfit here i'm obsessed very simple i mean it probably is more beach clubby just because of how high the slit is but i really like it i think i can bougie it up with the hat the hat is coming out once again but i've got the floppy hat here which makes it more monaco more monte carlo darling let's swap what do we think i think the first one just a little bit more dramatic we know i like to be a drama queen don't we <gasps> i do like this though so i think this is perfect for the very last day i would just pop this outfit with a plain old pair of black foamy flip-flops i'm keeping it simple on the last day especially if we're at nikki beach and i might wear heels with my swimsuit because it is very glam. It's very kind of Ibiza, glammy, Nikki Beach. It's absolutely gorgeous. Bag-wise, I thought I could do this really cute little pinky moment again. Or I could do the black. Or I could order a white or creamy pouchy bag. Do you know like the Bottegas? A dupe of the Bottega. There goes my phone on the floor once again. I think would look really sweet under the arm. What I like to do in the daytime is take a bigger bag. Just so I can fit everything in. Like wine. If we want to go to the park, have some wine. Put our waters in. And then I also have a mini bag that will look really cute. Number one. But then two, I can keep all my personal items. Like my phone and my camera lip gloss to hand. So that is the end of the styling session i think that went really well my room is now a bomb site but i guess that's the purpose of a dressing room now i picked up a few additional bits that i don't know where they fit in to my outfits and my kind of outfit schedule if you will by the way i am wearing a bandeau i'm not naked but I went to Primark yesterday. If you haven't seen that vlog, I will leave that linked down below. I haven't been to Primark in absolute ages. Went to the one in Birmingham. Insane. They had a Greg's there. They had a beauty studio there. It was crazy. But I picked up a bucket hat. What do we think? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Feels like I'm really naked. I'm going to have to pull this down. What do we think? I just thought for the beach could be quite cute. No? No? Hi, I wear bucket hats, hello. I thought if I'm gonna do a bucket hat, then it's got to be a cute woven lacy style bucket hat. Let me show you the material so you can actually get a full idea. Second item, absolutely obsessed. Look at how cute this little black mini woven bag. I could wear this to Nice, I think would be quite cool. Thank you so much for styling up for Monaco with me. I'm so excited. I've never been to the south of France ever in my life and I'm going with my best friend. So that'll be really exciting. Make sure to subscribe for the Monaco vlog if you want a party of me in Monaco. Make sure to subscribe, yo, so you don't miss out. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low.